I'm Jim Lee, and this is Wildstorm Studios. This is my desk. This is where I actually work, this little table. And I uh, have my laptop set up here so I can uh, browse the internet and uh, waste time, get baseball scores, that kind of thing. But it's also great. Uh, I, I used to keep a lot of reference and folders of airports and planes and trains and cars and stuff like that. But now, through the power of Google, literally everything I need is right here. And that's amazing. So a big, big change in the way I work. Actually, this is the uh, official entrance to Wildstorm. And as you can see, it's super dark in here. The lights are off. The walls are uh, painted this uh, dark gray. And uh, at first, we actually didn't even have these stand-ups here because we wanted to give this impression that if someone came through this door, that they entered a closet and they would turn around dissuaded from their uh, mission to find Wildstorm. We, we don't have signage out there or anything like that. And we wanted to keep it sort of the secret bat cave type location. Get this dramatic entrance to the yellow tower of power and our lovely receptionist Sarah. This is Oliver, he's a new artist that we hired Logan. from Austin, Texas and uh, he's got the prime position, he's got the ocean view. Yep. I've got a piece well, of cardboard of cardboard, in front of my desk, <laughs> he's got the ocean view, but then he puts up all this art in front of yes. it so it just goes to show you we would rather look at drawings of buildings and half-naked men than look out. Dedicated to, to our work. <laughs> Dedicated. <laughs> The yin and yang of our existences as, as artists, we have the couch for sleeping and then the weights to look at while we're sleeping on the couch. Here we have the newest, the newest, newest addition to our studio, Livio Romandelli. Yep. So, uh, so we're he's working on something that you're not actually not allowed to yeah. look at, so it's all right, <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll just erase that later. We're going from the creative to production and then back over to editorial. The studio is shaped like a J. We're up here and we're walking this way south. And if you're really good, you can walk backwards through the studio, because I've done this a lot. We've got production in here. We import a lot of manga from Japan, translate it and print it. And, well, they have to take the Japanese off and put the English on there. And that's a lot, a lot of production work, because the manga books are very, very thick. That's the scanner room. So you see the art we had before. Uh, it's penciled, then it gets inked, and then we scan it in, so it becomes a digital file. And then it goes over to coloring and they color the pages, and the lettering's also done digitally. It all used to be done by hand, the coloring and the lettering, but now uh, it's all done on computers. And then it's sent as a digital file to Canada where the books are printed. This is my actual, my real office, but now we actually just use it as storage. There's boxes and boxes of comics in there, but, you know, in the old days when I wanted to feel, like, important, I would sit there and just sort of go like rosebud, rosebud, but I don't really do that anymore. I've got too many pages to draw. So we've got... Uh, and she's coloring free fall. Put her on the spot. <laughs> Sasako, she's the uh, person in charge of the CMX manga line. Nice. At a Red Sox game, I was trying to get a baseball from a Japanese reliever. I called her, uh, I was in Baltimore. I called her uh, and I, I said, Can, how do you say throw me the ball in Japanese? And she told me, and I yelled it out to the guy. He looked up at me, but he didn't throw me the ball. Did you get to say it? Yeah, bolo uh, negate. Yeah. So these are the books they're working on in progress, so you sort of see the script. And then that progresses to pencils, which gets inked, which gets colored. And then you start seeing like the production work, like the logos on there, um, the reading copies. And uh, that's so that's the progress. Usually it's three, four month progress to go from here to here. This is uh, CMX. If you've never read manga before, here's my recommendation. This book right here, Gone. There's no words at all in it. So I read it in its original Engl uh, <laughs> Japanese uh, version. It makes you feel super smart when you can read Japanese books. But this is awesome because it's a story about a little T-Rex and he just kicks ass in the forests and jungles and it's really well done. It's all done through storytelling. There's just a couple sound effects, but there's no dialogue whatsoever, and they're incredible stories. It's amazing what can be done with just pictures. And that's the end of the studio.